Hi, my name is Dr. Stuart Paseca, and the strategy we're going to talk about today is preferential classroom placement, which is a strategy that we use to address minor disruptive behavior and increase time on task. The following is an example of that situation. Twas the day before Christmas. Olivia and her family had been out all morning, busy with last-minute shopping. Olivia was exhausted, yet there was still so much to do. Reese, will you put those away and pay attention? Olivia wanted to be even more of a help. Reese, put those away and pay attention. Okay, now that we've seen the situation, let's talk a little bit about how to implement this strategy. And what I really want you to remember is that the key to implementing this strategy effectively is that the student be lined up to maximize your line of sight. So what that may mean, depending upon the configuration you know, of the activity or the classroom, the student may be located somewhere different. For example, if you have a horseshoe configuration, place the student at the end of the horseshoe, closest to where you normally are. If you have a traditional classroom placement, set the student closest to your desk. In small group activity, like circle time, make sure that the student is seated directly across from you. That will really help maximize the effectiveness of this intervention. Now here's an example of that intervention being implemented. It's a self-portrait. Won't it be beautiful over the fireplace? Well, said Olivia, I think I'll hit the slopes. Is that what your self-portrait will look like? Well, I hope that you found this clip helpful today. And remember my rule of three for better behavior. Say what you mean, mean what you say, and catch up doing good.